this where Madame Marina's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed, though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but... What can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first, we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then.
Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from Plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the South? Who will look the beasts in the eye? like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. Stay in the discount. Teal needs something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! Such a lovely thrash in hell. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, hey hell. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts.
Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clear what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. I dare you to say it again! <laughs> So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our arch emulfart. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, they play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Rumble time! Thanks for having me. Oh. 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 All right, enough. Damn it, enough. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. There you are. 
managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So who do you see playing the Doppler prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Prissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, you're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or The Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. 
Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <coughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins' heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! It is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, Governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I'll scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after.
Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Lighten up, for God's sake. 